the idea that every physical step that anyone takes now also has a digital footprint. And the digital footprint is really interesting because it allows us to start thinking of a postmodern society that values human life, not just based out of physical land, but on the virtual on digital land that we inhabit. And the big advantages of this are that data, which is the byproduct, the only resource, the oil equivalent or the minerals or the or the, 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 the land or the you know farming or whatever equivalent is essentially abundant. Every year we're, we're going to produce more and more data. 2020, the world produced 600 trillion gigabytes of data, right? That's to the moon and back textbooks 11 times over. I mean, that is some incredible amount of, of, of data. And if that data can be our individual property, because we're producing that data, so if we can have the self sovereignty of that data, suddenly our worth is not just measured on do we own land or not, but our, our worth is measured based upon the value that can be created from that digital footprint. Buenas tardes, everyone, and welcome back to the X Frontier. Hope you guys are having a great day. You just heard from Amit Pradhan, that was Rainfalls co founder and CEO, talking about their decentralized platform that helps unlock the financial value in your digital life. There is an explosive growth in data globally. According to their site here, there's 50 billion connected devices, 600 trillion gigabytes of data generated annually, and $2 trillion of proceeds from all this data. So let me get a chunk of that slice. I'm sure we would all love to be able to monetize our data and keep that away from these big fintech companies like Facebooks, the Googles. It's time that we get our fair share. Now, keep in mind while you're watching this video that there are other projects out there that are tackling the same issue with data collection, data monetization. Rainfall is just one of those projects that is tackling that issue. Full transparency, I am not invested in this project. Just try and present information as objectively as possible. We jump over to their light paper. We can see that Rainfall is a decentralized platform that uses the latest in edge artificial intelligence to create a consent based model for humans around the world to control and monetize their personal data without sacrificing any of their personal privacy. We see that Rainfall has raised $1 million in pre-seed money to address data privacy and monetization crisis. The funding will accelerate efforts to expand the partnership programs, scale the technology platform, and further build out the team. Rainfall has decided to build on top of the Casper network. It says here, today Rainfall is also announcing key strategic partnerships. On the technology side of things, Rainfall is partnering with Casper Labs to build the platform on their highly secure, customizable, enterprise-grade blockchain. Here we have a quote by Renal Manohar, the CEO of Casper Labs. Casper provides a powerful and customizable blockchain for forward-thinking companies like Rainfall. The option for permission, permissionless, their upgradable smart contracts, their developer-friendly languages, and their predictable network fees make it an exceptional option for enterprises. And we can see that development happening with Rainfall being an addition to the Casper ecosystem. Now, I wanted to pivot your attention over to this article here, the state of Casper a year in review. It is exactly just that, right? I'll leave the link in the description if you want to read through some of the awesome highlights the Casper team has developed. What I wanted to highlight was this infographic here to give you an idea, a visual of the development of the Casper ecosystem and how far it's come along. We have so many different validators, exchanges. Remember Clifford Sarkin announced earlier in the year that there will be 10 more tier one exchange listings coming soon. 
So that is very positive news for the ecosystem. We have a ton of wallets with the latest integration of Ledger. We have a lot of DeFi, CeFi, a lot of partners like IPWe, Rainfall, like we just went over today. So a lot of awesome things being developed. It's still a fairly young ecosystem. Now to recap, Casper, it started in 2018. It's mainnet launch 2021 March. Now within a year later, they're over at Davos Blockchain Hub with some of the leading names in blockchain technology and DLT. Now, Casper is definitely making moves. That gets me excited, but I'm trying to be very objective. But Casper is making waves, not financial advice, but definitely an ecosystem that you want to be paying attention to. Now, lastly, guys, to just wrap up some Casper news for you, we have the friendly market that launched just yesterday. This is the first DEX on the Casper network went live and they are announcing an airdrop for anyone who supplies liquidity to their newly launched automatic market maker. If you click on the link here, it'll take you to their announcement. You can see airdrop allocations will be calculated based on USD value supplied to liquidity pools and time spent supplying liquidity. So the long, the more you allocate, the longer you allocate for, the bigger your return and the airdrop tokens will be distributed in Ray and eligibility window starts now. If you're not familiar with liquidity um, pools, I probably encourage you not to dabble in this. Uh, look into it. There are risks involved with, with applying liquidity. Uh, the dot Oracle bridge can be used to move your liquidity from other chains over to the Casper network. And it seems like they're going to be having some more details announced shortly. So that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Hope you guys found some value in this. I appreciate you if you're still watching. And remember, pioneers, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is the way.